Hello there, my beautiful friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, today's reading is unique. It's for the collective. So anyone that comes across this video, it is for you. Okay, all signs. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video, I was actually called to do this. I wasn't actually planning on doing this until about a half an hour ago. So here I am. And it's only because I've had a few different things happening in my life. I do feel spirit has been giving me a little nudge to do a reading like this. So um, I don't know if any of you have been looking for a sign. I have been seeing the number 666 but also the number 333 three, three recently. So I don't know if any of you are seeing these numbers, but this is a confirmation for you. But also I'm seeing a lot of ones, okay? Now this is showing up on clocks, on my cell phone. I'm seeing it on license plates, on home addresses. Um, and it's more than normal, okay? So some of you might be seeing a lot of angel numbers in your life. Now I feel this is spirit trying to communicate with us, everyone. I've also been having really interesting dreams, dreams of myself, but it's actually not me. It's not my environment, never was. I don't feel connected to myself in the dreams like I normally do when I see myself in a dream. So I know when I'm dreaming, I'm picking up other people's energies. And I feel that this is happening because someone out there needs to hear this message, okay? So what I'm going to do for you today is I've got my six month predictions uh, cards out. I was filming that this week and Spirit called me to do this reading. So I'm gonna keep the decks I'm using for today's reading. So I've got an angel number. I've got my three cards that I'm going to pull for you today. Um, an Enchanted Forest Oracle card, a bonus card with the Spirit Animals Oracle, Surrender Healing card. We're gonna pull a blocked energy, but also some separate messages for you that only you will understand. So these messages at the end, everyone, I want you to place them wherever they resonate for you today. Now, the dream that I had, it had myself and my daughters when they were younger, but we were different, right? Because of someone else's energy. And what I was getting was, um, this person was trying to prepare to start doing something. So for me, it felt like I was preparing to start filming. All right, and something kept happening. And the daughters, there was also another person there who I couldn't uh, make out here. It was a, a, a male presence, okay? It was a man uh, and two children. So this could be a family setting in your life. This could be even a workplace, um, a love relationship, right? So place this reading wherever it resonates for you, everyone. Remember, we all live a different life experience. Everything that's showing up, everything that you're hearing might show up in your life differently, okay? Um, and something just kept happening. This person was organizing, setting things up, about to start, someone walks in. The fridge needs to be uh, fixed or this needs to happen. And this person is asking for help, but they're not receiving the help. It seems like people are listening, but they're just not doing what it is this person's asking. So there's almost this feeling of panic, of feeling like you're out of breath. And it feels busy, but there's nothing there that is creating busyness other than what's happening in this person's mind. Okay, so there was frantic energy there as well, and I kept getting hits of energy, which felt like um, disconnect that kept happening for this person, all right? And I feel this has to do with the solar flares that we're experiencing recently. We're going through a geomagnetic storm, and I feel these punches, these hits of the solar flares is disconnecting all of us. Well, not a lot, all of us, some of us. Sorry, I meant to say some of us. And what I'm getting here is it's important for all of us to stay connected even though we feel like we're not connected, to make room for spirit to connect with us. And the reason why I feel I'm meant to bring this message to you is because spirit is trying to communicate and connect with all of you. 
we're trying to get this collaborative energy, this energy of love to expand and send out into the world. Uh, and this disconnect, maybe we're too busy in our lives and this is where spirit really wants us to slow down and take things one at a time and allow ourselves that room and space to be able to connect with spirit without feeling overwhelmed. Because when we're feeling overwhelmed, even when there's just a few little things happening, this is where we need to check with ourselves, right? So I feel spirit is asking us to check with ourselves to release any kind of tension or pressure, especially if you're feeling it as you're watching this reading. It's time for you to do a meditation or to ground your energy. Go for a walk in nature, walk by a lake, take a shower, water is calming, drink some water, um, pray, uh, implement some positive affirmations in your life, any kind of tool, anything that you can use in your life to uplift your energy. It is so important that we all uplift our energies, but also come, come from a place of love to help teach and inspire and uplift other people's energies in this world. I just feel that there is this force right now. Um, it feels like a darker energy and it's just really heavy. And it was coming through that dream. I had other dreams along with that, like I've been having UFO dreams. So I felt like there's this energy and it didn't feel bad. It just felt like a battle between light and dark. And I saw this like tornado of light and dark with these alien ships and the alien ships were just um, hovering. They weren't doing anything. They were just there. But there's a huge um, yin yang tornado that was just ripping through uh, cities and homes. Um, so, you know, maybe some of you can interpret this some other way, right? We all have different inter interpretations because we have different perspectives and understandings of things, right? We are all unique and different in our own way. We all have different understanding that what that is, what makes us all special and unique. This is a part of our superpower. And what spirit was, is asking here is to really turn any kind of fears into your greatest powers. And I've been talking about this on my readings, but I feel this is so important for us to understand that we need to connect with spirit more than ever, okay? We need to really follow the guidance that they're bringing in. The signs are everywhere, everyone. They're just everywhere. I'm seeing the connection through movies. I feel there's a singular message in everything and I don't know how to explain it. I'm trying to find a way to explain this, maybe even film a video around this, but I do feel there is that same message in every single thing, everything that we watch, everything that we see, and it's tied to the fool's journey, but um, there is a spiritual connection that is a part of that. There is a, a spiritual message, and it's just one message. What that message is, I'm still trying to figure that out, to bring it to you in words. Okay, so stay tuned for that part. I, I, will, I will hopefully be able to explain this to you one day. Now, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling some cards for all of you. So we're going to start with an angel number. Some of you are seeing angel numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. Now, I do feel some of you are chosen ones. There's something much bigger that you're meant for, and this is why you are here watching this reading today. Some of you might be feeling a disconnect in your life, in a relationship somewhere. Some of you might be feeling connected, but there's almost like this spiritual patch of turbulent energy. It feels like you're on an airplane and you hit this patch of turbulence. It feels scary. And, you know, we can feel anxiety, a lot of stress around this. And I do feel this has to do with how quickly the world is shifting, especially with technology, with AI, all of these things. I just feel there's a lot going on right now. So we want to remain connected with one another and not disconnect here, okay? So let's pull an angel number and see what comes through. So we are getting for you higher mind. Look at this. It's now time for you to tap into that higher mind. We have the number 15, 15 on this card. Some of you may, might be seeing the blues in this card somewhere in your life. The message here is mind over matter, everyone. Your thoughts have power. You create change, so we have to create the change that we desire. We have to create a world that we want to see in our lives, right? So again, mind over matter. Your thoughts have power. Remember, your thoughts have power. Be very mindful of what it is that you're thinking, the energy that you're putting on something that you're focusing on. Um, make sure you're always reversing that or shifting that energy to something positive, to your dreams, to your desires, okay? And if you're finding that you're 
falling into negativity, scarcity mindset, right? That lower vibration. Let's shift our energy the minute you become aware of that, okay? So very important to stay in that vibration that is connected to that higher mind, to that higher self, okay? And I do feel this is your higher self that is bringing you this message today. All right, this is why you're seeing it. Some of you might be experiencing dreams um, and you're feeling or sensing this connection and this disconnect or things feeling like they're a little bit mucked up. This is the energy I'm seeing is this mucked up energy. Um, and not everyone's gonna feel it this way, right? It, it might be coming in different for some of us. So you'll have to share with me how you're feeling about what this energy is in your life, but it just feels, it feels a bit flippy floppy as well. I've been describing this in some of the readings. So um, let's pull another message for you. So this is gonna be a personal message that I want you to carry with you, okay? So again, grab a pen and paper and write this down for yourself. Don't hide, Spirit says. Don't hide, everyone. Those of you that are watching, don't hide, my friends. I'm going to read you the message of this card. Dare to dream big. Remind yourself that everything is possible. Don't hide your talents and your abilities, but use them to build your world. Whatever those talents, whatever those gifts are, it's now time for you to activate them, to so start applying them in your life, no matter what it is. Perhaps you're good at math. Now, maybe you're good at singing, whatever this is for you, it's now time to start activating those powers, okay? You're not meant to hide, you're meant to shine everyone. All right, um, you know, mastering what it is that you know, or even mastering something that excites you and gives you joy. That is what you're meant to follow. The things that give you excitement and joy are the things that you're meant to do more of in your life, okay? So let's pull three tarot cards here and see what else is coming through. So Six of Cups, look at this nostalgia, this feeling of um, almost like deja vu or something's happened before. It's this feeling of, I'm getting Groundhog Day here with this energy. Like either the day's repeating, maybe you're going through this mundane, repetitive routine every single day, so they're wanting you to snap out of it. They're not wanting you to hide in that cycle or loop of that everyday groundhog energy here everyone so six of cups to start we have the high priestess there's that connection there's spirit this is that connection to your higher self right very very important you have a higher mind you have a higher presence here everyone you're meant to actually um ignite this fire within yourself through this connection and i feel this is why spirit is coming forward to you through this channel today, through me, to give you this message, okay? They're coming to the forefront for you. And they're wanting you to heed the signs they're saying, okay? So the High Priest is here now. I also want you to use your own intuition with my readings. So whenever you see my cards popping up on screen, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will also receive your own messages. What they're saying is, Sometimes when we hear messages, because I'm hearing some of you hearing a message that might not be resonating for you. Now we have our sun, moon, and rising signs. Make sure you check all three because you might have um, something that resonates for you there in any of the videos on my channel or someone else's tarot channel, okay? Make sure you're watching all of your signs readings here. But also there's a message coming through for you, everyone. I do feel this is gonna come through somebody that is speaking to you, something that you're watching, something that you pass by and you overhear. Like it's a message coming in that you're going to hear. And what Spirit is saying, it might not resonate with you in the moment, but I feel you're going to come back to that. So unless it's already happened, I do feel for some of you, there's a turnaround going back, which is coming through this Six of Cups for you, okay? It's something that you're going to remember. This is why I was getting deja vu here as well. Eight of Cups, okay? So there's some things that you're meant to move away from energies, things, people, environment that is holding you back as well. I feel there's a whole new world for you, but it's your choice if you want to move forward and with this energy. All right, so they're giving you that choice. Um, I don't know why, but with this red coat here, I'm feeling like a big stop sign, like there's an alert or red color here that might be 
alerting you or triggering you to stop. Now, this could be something inside of you, something deeper, something emotional. This is what spirit is really wanting you to work on, okay? So the eight of cups here for you as well. Now, it's interesting. We have the number eight. We are in the year number eight. And what spirit is ultimately asking you to do here is to reclaim your power, to tap into the inner power that you already harness to move away from energies that no longer serve you here, okay? You're meant for something bigger and there is a reconnection. There's this uprising. There's this uplifting energy that is coming in for us and this is what spirit is really wanting us to connect to. Now, before I begin here, remember we all live a different life experience. So these cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives. This is also a general reading for you today. So those of you that are watching, if my reading isn't resonating for you, please leave it behind or save it for later. Um, because I do feel that you might uh, experience something here in this reading later on, okay? So any of you seeing the number sixes, eights, or the number elevens here, okay? So perhaps some of you are life path six or life path eight, perhaps a life path two, or um, you're, see, you're like a mass, master number 11 here I'm getting um, in numerology, okay? Um, connections, relationships is coming up through this card, family, close connections. This could be workspace that you've been in for a very long time. Um, there's this past energy coming in as well. So I don't know what this past energy is, but it keeps resurfacing here. Or you're moving back to something that was said to you. Um, this is what I mean by the flippy floppy energy. So some of you might be seeing people from your past cropping up out of nowhere perhaps this is on facebook on instagram on some sort of social media platform perhaps uh, you were visiting home and you ran into them or saw them and it sparked some sort of memories or some sort of information a conversation that you had that all of a sudden opens your opens your mind up to something now the other thing i'm getting here is lineage and hair um going back to like family ties something that has to do with um your family history here okay something is coming forward i don't know what this is now this could be some sort of gift that you have that is starting to show itself um maybe this is something that you are um, cultivating in your life here practicing uh, and it's something that you have a lot of passion for i feel that you didn't know you had passion for it or you were excited about this or even had interest in this, but there's something cropping up here for you. And for others, it's almost like you're revisiting a gift. You're revisiting something that um, sparked your mind or sparked your interest a long time ago. Now, this could be I'm seeing myself. They're showing me uh, a while ago when I used to go see tarot readers to get tarot readings. Um, and before I actually started my way before, I used to go see tarot readers. And they used to tell me that I meant to do something big, right? And now he's like, oh, I don't know what that is. I work in the dental world. I have no idea. So the information that you were given, perhaps you're going back to that because now it's starting to resonate for you. See, this is where it's coming up. So perhaps you saw a tarot reader or you had a message received through someone. It doesn't necessarily have to be a tarot reader. This could be um, an elderly person. This could have been your grandparents, um, your parents, or someone much older and wiser, someone that is a bit seasoned some information coming through with that. Again, this can show up any which way, but there is information coming in from uh, a little bit further back here for some of you. This is opening you up in a really big, big way here, okay? Um, what is this other thing? And I'm, I'm getting that there's some hurt feelings here coming through this. I don't know if some of you are dealing with issues uh, with your siblings, with your family members at all. Um, I feel that everybody's going through something different, right? And we want to come from a place of love. Um, and they're wanting you to approach situations, approach your family, your siblings, or those that you care about um, through the energy of love, kindness, and compassion. Um, and I feel this energy of love is going to go a very far way here. So this is an energy. This is your soul. This is your higher self. This is that connection that is wanting to come forward. Um, I'm getting the energy of Jesus coming in. Okay. So um, this energy of love, this energy, you know, if, if you've read the Bible, you know about Jesus and how he kind of walked his path. And then he was... Um, uh, he had sacrificed himself for all of our sins and um, all of that, right? 
And I don't want to go on about that. I know that those of you that know about him know about his history, right? I'm getting this coming forward. The energy of him, the energy of this loving being that, you know, has taken a lot of, um, ch taken on a lot of challenges in their lives, okay? So I feel that some of you have gone through a lot, especially with people. Maybe people have disappointed you. Perhaps they have shown you their face recently. Um, this has to do with connections here. I feel um, some connections are strengthening, but others need to strengthen. And I feel either there's a lost connection or a connection that may have gone sour recently for some of you. And what Spirit is maybe wanting you to do is revisit that. Either cut cords, um, because I feel it's still sitting there. And I feel this is that interrupted energy that keeps seeping into your life here. Those of you that are watching. And what they want you to do is to come to peace to really close that chapter because there's something else that is wanting to come through and whatever that is that you're holding on to that has to do with this person or this situation, this thing, whatever this is that you're holding on to, this could be a grudge, this could be not wanting to forgive somebody because of something they have done, um, you know, uh, being angry or resentful towards people because maybe they have said something to you, perhaps it has affected your life, but I feel that you know, how are you choosing to perceive that energy? They're wanting you to shift that. Choose not to be offended by it. Choose to release it and let it go. Because in a sense, if you're holding on to things here, you're not leaving room to be open for this new energy to come in. So this is why I feel Spirit is asking all of us to open ourselves up to that connection with Source, to Spirit, okay? Meditation here is going to be very important to quiet your mind, quiet your heart, allow yourself to be in stillness for a moment just to allow spirit to come in and communicate. Those of you that are overwhelmed, I feel that if you're able to calm yourselves down, like really calm yourselves down through any means. For me, music is calming and soothing, so it has to be the right kind of music. I know exactly kind of what music I use and I talk about this quite a bit because it works for me. And I know a lot of us out there use music to either motivate ourselves or get into a mood. You know how sometimes we go through a heartbreak? We listen to all the heartbreak songs because we want to be in that energy of heartbreak, right? It reminds us of all, all those moments and we can cry and release that energy. This is where spirit is also wanting you to use music to uplift your energy or to calm your energy, however it works for you. Whatever this is that's coming in that I've been feeling, I feel it is asking us to release ourselves of the things, which is showing up here through the Eight of Cups, okay? So the things that um, aren't in alignment with us, and you know what this is. You that are watching today, you know what these energies are that are holding you back. So it's now time for you to confront them. It's time for you to stand in front of them and release them. Turn your uh, biggest fears into your greatest strength. This is what this year is all about. And I do feel it's important that we take our lives seriously and connect with our higher selves. Your higher self knows exactly where you need to go. Your higher self is guiding the way here, everyone, okay? That connection is happening. Your higher self is trying to connect with you. Some of you are heeding, you're, you're seeing the call. You're seeing the signs, you're following them, right? So this is a confirmation to you that you're on the right track. Those of you that feel like there's a blockage, to release that, again, implementing practices, whether it's through writing, meditation, to release energy so you can open yourself up to spirit's connection. That guidance, that awareness, that understanding, that knowing, problem solving solutions, ideas, um, resolutions, they're all going to come to you, okay? And they show up in many ways. And a releasing of any kind of expectations around something. I feel some of you have a game plan. And sometimes the game plan, it's if it's the one that you have made, you have to leave uh, room for um, new things to come in. You have to be flexible and adaptable to some of the changes that are coming in because spirit is sending some changes to you, a new direction to what it is that you're meant to um, uh, towards uh, the path that you're meant to walk down is what they're saying here. They're showing you the way. Whatever it is that you're desiring, whatever it is that you're dreaming of here, this is going to come true for you. The reason why you're dreaming it, because it already, already exists on a timeline somewhere. So that connection is now taking place. And I really feel this has to do with Jupiter being in alignment with Gemini, but also other planetary alignments. 
So any kind of things that are stressing you out, causing any kind of anxiety, it's now time for you to really work on releasing yourself from these emotions, these feelings. So there's something there that is causing them and that's the root cause that you have to work on. This is the first step on that path, right? So they're really wanting you to open up to communication with spirit, pay attention to all the numbers, all the things that you're seeing in this reading, all the cards, imagery, everything that you're feeling even right now. Okay, so they're really wanting you to tune in. If you feel like there's noise or static, it's time for you to turn that dial to the right radio station is what they're saying. Um, eight of cups here, walking away and really walking away, making a commitment to yourself that you have, may have to, some of you might have to sacrifice something in your life, right? Um, sacrifices don't have to be big. Uh, for me, it was um, sacrificing coffee. I love coffee. I've quit drinking it. It's been over a month now, so I'm proud of myself. I'm going to give myself a pat on the shoulder. Um, coffee was causing stomach aches for me, for me, and I discovered that a few months ago, and I just had to figure out what it was, and it was coffee. So I've moved away from coffee. So I made a sacrifice in my morning routine. Instead of drinking coffee, I drink tea now. Um, you know, something that you're meant to really shift in your life. And sometimes it only takes one thing for us to change in our lives to make a huge impact, right? So they're really wanting you to assess your life, to really go over it, to see where you need to make those changes. Distractions are huge right now as well. I've been talking about this quite a bit. It's very important that you understand what it is that you want in your life. What is it that you're trying to create here, my friends? Okay, you want to have a clear vision around that. I have a schedule. I talk about calendars all the time. I feel they're a very powerful tool, whether you know it or not. There is a small little thing that can change your entire life, a calendar, everyone. Um, implementing calendars to understand what your day looks like, being organized here. Letting go of things that... Um, Waste your day is what they're saying. Things that waste your day like distractions. You know, when you spend so much time on social media, whether you're looking at people or comparing yourself and feeling not good because you're seeing things that you feel like you're not in alignment with. I feel this is coming up quite a bit for a lot of people is looking at things that are all illusions. A lot of things on social media aren't even real. Okay, so I feel that, and I, I've been seeing this. Um, I sometimes hit peaks where my um, intuition enhances. And it's so weird, I can't even explain it to you. Some of you might feel it like this as well, where I'm watching something and all of a sudden I start to see through it. I see the actors, I see the like the fakeness of it all. Um, and it's just, it, it's so hard to describe. And, I, and I, I hate it when I go into that zone. And it just happens randomly. I don't take any kind of drugs. I don't do anything that, um, makes me perceive it like that it's just this awareness heightens right and usually i'll get ringing in my ears before that happens so i get a sign that i'm about to see something and i don't i usually don't know what it is and i can't control it right so some of you might experience things in your own lives and i do feel for some of you there's some gifts that are coming along but there's some things that you have to release to really open up to what these gifts are these talents right there's something unique about you that you're meant to actually tap into Perhaps you have a fear around it. Maybe you're afraid, like, what are people going to think? Release all of those fear. Release what people think. People are going to think things all day long. That is none of your business. That's a them problem. Leave it with them and you move about your day. Okay, leave those things that sometimes do kind of poke you here and there. I feel like what I'm seeing right now is it looks like acupuncture. So it's someone that is being poked by little, little needles. And it's little, little things throughout the day. So these are the things you want to stop giving attention and energy to. Okay, so if someone says something, you hear something and it really ruins your day, why is it ruining your day? Let's not let it ruin your day. Instead, make it the best day. Let's choose to not allow that energy to affect us, right? Um, so walk away from the things that no longer align with you here. All right. And I feel this dream, this, this this dream that I had where the person kept getting distracted is because they allowed the distraction. And, and I do feel their surroundings, the people that were there in their surroundings weren't aware that this person was distracted, that they needed help. And maybe there is this cry wolf energy there. Um, now, this doesn't have to necessarily be you. This could be somebody, you know, in your life as well. This reading could be resonating for you for someone else. OK. 
And if it is, you probably want to share this reading with that person. All right, so allowing yourself to be connected and stay connected. It is so important. Um, let's see what it is that you need to release and surrender in your life today. So I'm going to go with what Spirit asks me to do. Maybe I'll pull one card, maybe I'll pull two. We'll see what happens here today, okay? This deck is really calling to me, so I can't wait to pull these cards for you. All right, so what are we going to release and let go of? Surrender to success. Surrender to success, everyone. So the message here is you are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. So look at that. Surrender to success. I'm going to read this to you one more time. You are ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. Look at that. They're not wanting you to look back. So the number six of cups here. I, I keep feeling this energy that is moving backwards, like going back to something. So don't go back to old habits. Don't go back to the old ways here. If you're finding yourself being pulled towards that, it's now time for you to surrender to success. I'm getting someone feeling like, they don't deserve it or they're not worthy of it. I want you to let that energy go if you're feeling this way, okay? Let it go and move forward because you deserve success. You deserve everything in the world, all right? So let's pull a healing message for you as well. We are getting, it's safe to be, it's safe to move beyond fear. Look at that. It is safe to move beyond fear. I don't know if any of you have seen this cute little animal. This looks like a bobcat or a lynx. All right, this is your confirmation. If you haven't seen one, I'm pretty sure that you may see one soon. Okay, so we've got the number 32. This could also be a cat. I feel this looks like a um, ragdoll cat. My sister has one. His name is Lynx, and he looks just like this with the little pointy ears, the ragdoll cats. Okay, so number 32, this could be a number of significance. Um, I'm getting 32 days, but also three days, three to two days, three to two weeks, three to two months, and three to two hours, okay? The message here is stop procrastinating. Listen to your inner knowing and take action. So again, stop procrastinating. Listen to your inner knowing and take action. Now this comes with an affirmation, so feel free to write this affirmation down for yourself. I boldly step into my destiny. Look at that. I boldly step into my destiny. So they're really wanting you to step into that destiny, step into that connection with your higher self because they are opening up the way here for you. So this is your healing message. All right. Um, let's pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck here. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook. So those of you that are seeing animals or insects in your life, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. We've got one card that really wanted to come out. Um, so let's go ahead and use this. And anything more Spirit wants to share with you, again, is going to come through this uh, card. Look at this heart shape, otter, in the shape of a heart. So again, that heart-centered energy, everything works through love. Everything comes back to love. This whole world is built on love. We might not see that right now, but this is where spirit wants you to shift that perspective so we can see through the lens of love. All right, so um, otter spirit. I don't know if any of you are seeing otters anywhere in your life. This is your confirmation today. If you aren't seeing them, you're seeing them now on your screen and you're probably going to see them in your life. We have the number 42 on this card. So this could be a number of significance for some of you. Perhaps you're a life path four or two, or perhaps you're 42 years old. Those of you looking for timing, 42 days. Also four to two days, four to two weeks, and four to two months. You are never alone. Spirit is letting you know you are never alone. All right. So let's pull the interpretation and read that to you. Number 42. So the oracle message here is like true friends, otters nurture each other and express their affection through touch. Actions such as holding hands and giving hugs offer reassurance that we are never really alone and that we are always cherished. Otter spirit has appeared to remind you to experience and express friendship in a tangible and even tactile way. Communicate with your voice, your facial expressions, your gestures, and your actions, letting your love express itself just beyond, um, express itself beyond just words that you speak. 
Otter Spirit's message is that your presence matters. So remember to be fully present with those you care about, helping them sense the love and affection and appreciation you have for them. Now is a time for a joyful celebration of the love in your life that expresses as friendship and companionship. Together we are stronger, everyone. So hug someone, touch their arm, or simply look into their eyes with your full attention, saying, I care and you matter. All right, make time for friendship. Otter Spirit promises that the moment you reach out, you will remember that you too have many who love and care about you. You are never alone and you are always loved. All right, I'm getting goosebumps from this, okay? So let's uh, read you the protection message. Have you been channeling all your affection to just one person or counting on only one friend or individual to hold you up? Heedless of your resources all around you, you deserve support and love from many people. And when Otter Spirit arrives, you are reminded that you have a community. Somewhere is another friend who wants to experience the joy of giving to you and seeing your happiness as you receive their gift of attention, affection, and kindness. Otter Spirit wants you to be open, wants you to open your eyes to see the love that is available to you from all directions. Do you believe it? Do you feel it? Reach out to someone and you will see that they want to hold your hand as much as, 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 much as you want to hold theirs. Love, support, and friendship are available to you. So connect with community and friends here, everyone. So look at that. What a beautiful message here for you, Otter Spirit. All right, I'm going to pull, uh, I'm going to actually pull two blocked energy cards for you today. So what is it that's blocking you? How can you clear this energy? Let's take a look. Look at this. I'm making such a big mess on my desk here. And I'm just uh, messing up cards as I'm doing this shuffling for you as well. So imaginary blocks. Look at that. Some of you are experiencing imaginary blocks. Okay. So the fears of being blocked or having many obstacles to face are imaginary. I'm going to read that one more time. The fears of being blocked or having many obstacles to face are imaginary. So in order to reverse or clear this block, decide what's real for you, okay? It is time to think of the obstacle that you most fear or the stagnant aspects of your current situation and ask if they are real or if they're imaginary. You might be surprised that none of it really exists. So I'm gonna read that one more time. It is time to think about the obstacles that you most fear or the stagnant aspects of your current situation and ask if they are real or imaginary. You might be surprised that none of it really exists. So look at that. Sometimes we have to look through a different perspective at this, right? So be aware of the perspective that you are looking at a situation in your life. All right. So mindset here is going to be very important. Shifting your mindset to that positive mindset. We've got success vampires. Look at that, success vampires. So people are taking away your time, your ideas, or draining your energy. This felt just like the dream. So uh, success vampires. These are uh, vampire energies in your life that come through people. How do you unblock this energy? Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Face your success vampires head on and don't let them take from you. Whether it be sticking up for yourself or setting better boundaries, let them know that you are taking back your power. So this is uh, what the number eight in numerology is tied to is power, taking back your power, being brave and courageous and standing up for yourself. So stand your ground here, everyone. I'm going to read this to you one more time. Face your success vampires head on and don't let them take from you. Whether it be sticking up for yourself or setting better boundaries, let them know that you are taking back your power. And everyone, there is ways that we can do this through love energy by being kind and compassionate, right? We don't have to be aggressive with this, all right? So success vampires. All right, so now I'm going to pull three messages for you from this card. Now, this is a deck I used to use during my personal readings. I'm not doing personal readings right now. This is one of the decks I used to use and um, I might not understand what this message is. So I want you to place it wherever it resonates for you today. Okay, so we're going to pull three cards and see what it is that spirit wants you to hear today. So I split that deck. 
You're a lot tougher than you think you are. So look at that. You are a lot tougher than you think you are. All right. Second, despite the frustration, you're on your way to making all of your dreams come true. So look at this. Despite, despite your frustration, you are on your way to making all of your dreams come true. Look at this confirmation from the universe. Let go. Let's dust off. Let's keep moving here, okay? And last but not least, a new career path will be highly successful. Trust the magic of newness. For those of you that are looking for a career path, a new one, a change, a shift, there is a new career path. Okay, so a new career path will be highly successful. So trust the magic of newness. Look at that. So this is your reading today, everyone. I hope it resonated for you. If it did, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.